here's one of those moments where you borrow items from someone. First, ask someone if they have a wallet on them that they could just leave out on a table, on a desk, wherever, and tell them that you're not even going to touch their wallet. They're the ones that are going to touch their own wallet. That way they know that you're not going to try to rip them off or whatever because my hands will never touch their wallet. But in this case, since we don't have a spectator, this is my own wallet, obviously. This is my own coin, and this is my own pen. You could also ask a spectator if they have a pen or a Sharpie on them that they, they, you could borrow, that you could use as a wand or whatever, and also ask them if they have a coin that you could borrow. doesn't matter what coin it is. It doesn't need to be signed. That's, it doesn't really matter if it is or not. Anyway, they hand you the wallet, place it down, hand you a coin, say, okay, I'm going to take your coin, I'm going to place it on the wallet just like this. Then, with the pin or the Sharpie marker to use as a more modern-day magic wand, you're just going to go one, two, three, and press their coin into their wallet. They're going to look to see where on earth they're going to go. No way. The coin couldn't possibly be in the wallet. Hands are empty. Open it up and look inside, inside the wallet is their coin. Ask them to close their wallet up. Then you say, Okay, I'm going to do another thing with the coin. I'm going to place it on your wallet again. Then they say, Are you going to do the same trick again? Not quite. Almost, almost. What you do is go one, two, three and the coins vanished again. And you go, wait a minute, it's back inside my wallet, right? No, open up your wallet, it's not there. They're gonna go, okay, okay, where's the coin? You go, I'd like to conclude this trick. Would you please take your wallet? As they pick up their wallet, as they pick it up, they will see that the coin, this time, was under their wallet. They take back their wallet and their coin, and if they handed you the pin or the marker, give everything back to them and say, thank you for your time. I'll let you go on your way now. Thanks once more.